I hope you're still out there. I've been trying to connect with you in the comment section on the postings here and everything. But anyway, if you're still there, I really applaud you. We're going to open our little informal, introductory uh, live stream with uh, a reading of partial reading of Psalm 8 in a prayer. And then I have a greeting for you. I'm going to invite you to Ash Wednesday service. As we close, Peggy is going to play uh, a song for us. But uh, before I do get into all of that, Monday, this last Monday, I had oral surgery uh, to remove a few teeth down here. And I do pretty well except in pronouncing S's. And so I struggle to get that across. I've joked with Peggy that by the time I do learn how to pronounce that and I get my dentures, I'll have to relearn all that again. But many of you out there have uh, experienced similar things. And so at this time, I'm going to read partial Psalm 8. O Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory above the heavens from the lips of children and infants you have ordained praise. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is man that you are mindful of him, the son of man that you care for him? Let us have a moment of prayer. Our Lord, the dust of the earth here, the dust of the earth that you have raised up, that you've breathed life into, that you have set your image upon, why, Lord, did we deserve all of that? Is it because of your grand love? Is it because of your grand grace? We presume so, Lord. Lord, not only lift us up and breathe your breath of life into us, but cause us to continually be worthy of your grace in our lives. We pray this in your precious name. Amen. I like that psalm, and, and particularly those verses from the lips of children and infants, you have ordained praise. I use those when I'm trying to make the argument to people as to why I, in the United Methodist Church, like to baptize infants, babies and such. You know, God calls forth that praise. God calls us forth. And I think that, you know, if we don't praise God, it's because we're really working hard against praising God. The babies just praise God naturally in response to his call. May we be like the babies. May we be like the babies each and every day of our lives, just in response to God's call, just continually praising God and talking to God. Amen. I wanted to take a moment to invite you to our Ash Wednesday open house, which is next Wednesday from 5.30 to 6.30. And um, what will happen is, it's consider it like an open house. You can come at any time during that hour so that we're not all together at one time. I will have ashes available in a, in a glass, uh, decorative glass uh, container here. I will have Q-tips available so that either you can use a Q-tip to apply ashes yourself or I can, if you prefer, I will have a prayer, and then uh, we can have a, a brief moment there, and then uh, you may then go back home, go back to wherever you were going, and uh, that way we won't congregate everybody together, and yet there can be uh, a, a moment of sacred feeling inside the church. We will have something similar or better on Good Friday. And we will uh, hopefully on Easter, and I'm planning on it, uh, on Easter we will, we will have uh, a service here in the church and we'll figure out how to create distance for people. And uh, anybody that is up to it is certainly, uh, the, the doors will be open, uh, but it is, it is certainly up to you. But... Uh, we are working on providing that for Easter. I know that we didn't have a chance last Easter to meet, and uh, going without meeting for Easter two years in a row just doesn't seem like the thing. 
And so uh, we want to make that happen. And so being as this is the first live stream, for those of you that are watching, uh, our ears are open as to uh, comments, suggestions, uh, whatever. Uh, I'm not sure when we're going to like actually start doing this on Sunday mornings, but that is our plan to do that on Sunday mornings. Now, you know that I am the pastor at the Granger Good Shepherd United Methodist Church, and this is my policy there that, that I would have here as well. As we continue with COVID-19 restrictions and such, the safest thing to do is to watch from home, all right? But also, and equally as important, I do not have the legal or the moral authority to keep you out if the Holy Spirit is prompting you to be here, all right? And so when we do get to live streaming on Sunday mornings, if you show up, I'm not going to send you away. I do ask this, that you wear a mask so that if for some reason we have visitors, that they will feel comfortable that we are taking proper precautions in, in doing all of that. It's been a long time, and again, um, uh, I'm trying to get accustomed to my new tooth situation here. I jokingly tell people, like at the restaurants, when Sherry and I go out to eat, you know, the bill will often come to something like 1638 or 1722 or something like that. And my joke is, that was a good year. And then they look at me, and, you know, I used to say, well, I'm a vampire. And now I get to say I'm a toothless vampire. My brothers and sisters, again, this is uh, an experimental thing tonight. Um, I hope that you've enjoyed having a moment to see your sanctuary and having a, a moment to get, you know, dialed in, let's say, to the, the website, the Facebook page, and the live stream. Again, we, are, we want to know your experience with this and let us know about the sound and let us know about the visual um, um, and, and whatever ideas that you may have. And uh, I'm going to ask Peggy at this time if she might close our little time um, with a song. Now, don't go away after she closes because I'm going to check your comments and if you have comments in that section, then, then I can respond to them live here, okay? Peggy, would you play for us, please? Thank you, Peggy. A round of applause for Peggy. 
So anyway, if you're watching, I see no further comments that you've made. Um, and so I will offer a prayer in closing and hope to see you again soon. Our Lord, we thank you for this technology. We thank you for John. We thank you for Robbie. We thank you for Peggy. We thank you for these people that work to make this miracle of digital stuff take place. Amen.